Thank you to all of our previous subscribers for returning. Please remember to hit the like button, and if you're a brand new viewer, we'd love to have you join us for more fantastic stories. Enjoy the fascinating tale of the Madeira-born diva by reclining in your chair and unwinding. Cristiano Ronaldo dos Santos Aveiro was born on 5 February 1985 in the São Pedro parish of Funchal, Portugal. His father, José Dinis Aveiro, is a municipal gardener and a part-time kit man, while his mother, Maria Dolores dos Santos is a cook. It was reported that the month revealed that he wanted to abort his pregnancy due to his father's alcoholism, poverty, and having many children, but her doctor refused to carry out the abortion procedure. Ronaldo and his siblings lived in an impoverished Catholic Christian home while growing up. He started football at the age of five, playing for Andorinha, where his father was the kit man and spent three years with the side before moving to join Nacional for two years. He went on a three-day trial to Sporting Lisbon at the age of 12 and got signed for a fee reported to be around £1,500. The signing made him move from Madeira to Alcaquip near Lisbon to join the Sporting Lisbon Youth Academy. Two years after he was signed, he believed he could already play semi-professional football, and that was his highest schooling and focused more on football. In the subsequent year, he was diagnosed with tachycardia but later underwent surgery to keep his footballing hope alive. He was discharged a few hours after the procedure and resumed back to training a few days later. At age 16, he was promoted to the senior team by coach Laszlo Bologna, who said he was impressed by the teenager's dribbling skills. Then he became the first player to represent the Sporting Lisbon U16, U17, U18, the B team and the senior team, all within a single season. He made his Primera Liga debut against Braga in 2002 and later scored two goals in his second game of the season against Moreirense in October. His performance that season enticed a lot of managers, including Arsene Wenger, who met him at Arsenal's training ground to discuss a possible move. Furthermore, his performance against Manchester United, later in 2003, caught the attention of Sir Alex Ferguson, who later signed for a fee reported to be around £12.24 million. He moved to Manchester United in August 2003 but was too late to play in the Community Shield that year, but made his debut for the side in their first game of the season against Bolton Wanderers in the 2003-2004 season, coming in as a substitute for Nicky but, making him the first Portuguese player to sign for the side. The transfer made him the most expensive teenager in English football at then. He scored his first goal for the side with a free kick against Portsmouth in a 3-0 win and went on to score three more goals in the second half of that campaign, with a red card against Aston Villa in the last game of the season. He, however, finished his first season in English football with a goal against Millwall in the 2004 FA Cup victory, earning his first trophy for the side. He extended his deal with Manchester United in 2004 with two years which saw his deal last until 2010. He showed one of his best performances in English football against Villa, scoring a goal and providing one, and later scoring against rival Arsenal. He played his second cup final for the side in a 5-4 penalty shootout loss to Arsenal. But went on to win his second trophy for the side, scoring the third goal in the 4-0 win over Wigan Athletic in the Football League Cup final in 2005. His third season the English football was coupled with some unfavorable situations, including a one-match ban imposed by UEFA for a one-finger gesture towards a Benfica fan. He was also involved in an incident which saw Wayne Rooney sent off the pitch. This situation made him lament for lack of support from the team and publicly requested a transfer, which the side denied. The 2006-2007 season proved to be his breakout season, breaking the 20-goal barrier for the first time and winning his first league title. He finished the season winning the Premier League Player of the Month twice. Ronaldo left the side immediately after the 2008-2009 season, winning lots of individual awards, including the Premier League Golden Boot, European Golden Shoe, FIFA Puskas Award, 
PFA Player of the Year, the prestigious Ballon d'Or and FIFA Player of the Year Award, the last player from the EPL to win the award, and many more. In addition, he won many titles with the side, including the EPL Thrice, the UCL, the FIFA Club World Cup, Community Shield, FA Cup, the Football League Cup and many more. Ronald joins Real Madrid in the 2009-2010 season for a then-world record fee of £80 million as of then. He was presented at the Santiago Bernabeu with 80,000 spectators in attendance, surpassing the Maradona 25-year 75,000 records. He had a fine start to life in the Spanish capital, scoring in his first four games for the side, the first player to do so, and went on to score his first UCL goal side for the side with two free kicks against Zurich. However, his fine start was interrupted by an ankle injury. He finished his first season scoring 33 goals in all competitions and was Real Madrid's top goal scorer for that season. He helped the team gather a club record of 96 points, but that wasn't enough to win the league that year. The following season saw Raul leave the side, and he was given the number 7 jersey. That season he helped the team to the UCL semi-finals, but they were eliminated, though he went on to win the La Liga Golden Boot with 40 goals, the first player to do so and also the European Golden Boot for the second time, which saw him become the first player to win the award in two different leagues. The following season he achieved a new personal best of 60 goals in all competitions, winning his first La Liga title with a record of 100 points. That season also made him become the first player to score against all 19 opponents in the league for a season. He began the season winning the Supercopa de España, his third title in the Spanish capitals. He continues his awesome performance for the side, though he later publicly lamented professional issues within the club. His performance for the side saw him voted second in the Ballon d'Or vote behind Messi for the fourth time. He captained the side for the first time in the 2012-2013 season, becoming the first non-Spanish player to captain the side in 60 years. That season saw him make his 500th appearance for the side and score his 300th club goal and his 200th goal for this side in May. He finished that season helping the side to win the Copa de Rey, scoring twice. He extended his contract the following season making him the highest paid player in football. He finished that season clinching the FIFA Ballon d'Or for the first time in his career. He ended that season named the UEFA Best Player and the Champions League Top Goalscorer with 17 goals. He left the Spanish giant in 2018 becoming the club's all-time goalscorer, winning the Champions League five times for the side and winning his fifth Ballon d'Or, UCL all-time goalscorer, FIFA World Club Cup thrice and many more. He joined Juventus the following season for a 100 million euro fee, with an additional 12 million euro solidarity contribution to his youth club. He spent three years with the Italian giant, winning the Scudetto twice, the Coppa Italia once and Supercoppa Italiana twice as well. His second Supercoppa Italiana victory makes him the first player to win every major domestic trophy in England, Spain and Italy. His goal in a 3-1 away win over Sassuolo saw him reach 100 goals for the side in 131 appearances, becoming the fastest Juventus player to reach that feat his stay in Juventus saw him become the first player to win the Golden Boot in the English, Spanish and Italian leagues. He also becomes the first player to score 20 goals in 12 consecutive seasons in the European top 5 leagues. He rejoined his former side Manchester United the following season for £12.85 million on a two-year contract. Amidst the team's struggles in his first season with the side, he scored 18 leagues for the side, becoming their top goal scorer for that season. Although his goal wasn't enough to take him to the Champions League, they later settled for the Europa League. His hat trick against Tottenham saw him become the player with the most goals, 807, scored in professional football, although the Czech Republic FA argued that Josep Bikin had more. At the beginning of the new season, there are rumors that he might be leaving the side to join a side playing in the Champions League, 
but this later ended abortively and saw him stay with the side for the new season. Internationally, he represented his country a total of 191 times and scored 117 goals becoming the player with the most international goals and the top Portuguese goalscorer of all time. He appeared one different finals for the national side, including the UEFA European Championship twice, which he won just once in 2016. He also featured in the National League final in 2019 and won it also. He's, however, longing for his first World Cup victory, hopefully, which could come this year in Qatar. <laughs>